When we get our new phone, we typically open the box, rummage through it, grab our phone, and then kind of look at the bottom layer. So typically you would get things like a headphone in there, you would get a charger, you would get your USB cable, which is pretty important to keep around. And then you got this little guy. This is the on the go dongle. Now, if you know what this is and you've used it before, this video is not for you. But if you've never seen it or don't know how it works, well, stick around. I'm going to change your world. So this is it. This is the little guy that makes everything possible. It's the OTG on the go. It can be the cable or a dongle and essentially it connects to your phone's port. And on the other side, it creates a normal USB socket to plug USB stuff into it. So what kind of stuff can we connect to it? Well, first of all, when you're working outside of the office, you want to have access to your media. So I'm going to rip off Batman's head here. This is my flash drive. On my flash drive, I've got a whole bunch of data, video files, things of that nature. I connect it through to my Galaxy S10. I go into the file manager, and then there I'm going to start looking for something called the USB storage. And there it is, USB storage. Let's tap on that. And there we go. You're going to see all the files that are actually located on the flash drive. I can play it. I can copy it. I can edit it. I can work straight off the drive. I can copy it to your local Galaxy S10. But essentially, I get all my data with me regardless of where I happen to be. Next up, let's listen to some music. What we're going to do is take my gaming headset. This is from Razer. I plug it into a USB port. I plug it straight into the USB on the OTG dongle fire up something to watch maybe something youtubey and there we go it powers up the headphones and the audio comes through that as well right next up what else can we plug into this well how about a good old-fashioned usb based mouse you simply plug that into the otg dongle and yes if you do have a wireless mouse you can actually use the wireless receiver the bluetooth wireless receiver on the dongle as well now why would you want to do that well if you have a mouse look how easy it is to control your phone just find the little arrow there it is you can hold your buttons and then change your screens on your phone like that hold it drag it to the left drag it to the right what's cool is you can double click on your application and launch them as per normal and in fact if you hold and swipe up you're going to see the app drawer swipe down and you're going to see notifications also gestures work on the Galaxy S10. So from the bottom middle, swipe up, and then you're gonna see the home screen. On the left, recently used application. The right is the go back button. So gestures work. Next up, to be mobile, you wanna be able to have the option to connect to the company's LAN. All you're gonna do is you're gonna use this little adapter, you're gonna connect it to your OTG, and connect the other side to the LAN. Nice and fast connectivity. Uh, is that a PS4 controller? Why, yes it is. I want to play some games, I can do that too. Connect the PS4. Now, I don't want to do this via Bluetooth. I want to do it straight with a cable. I know it's possible to do via Bluetooth. I prefer this method. It's just straightforward and doesn't drain my battery as much. Now, not all games work. You've got to go to the settings, you've got to go into controller and make sure you've got something like a gamepad as an option. Go back and let me show you that it actually does indeed work. So this game, three, two, one, go. I'm holding down the button and you can see I'm navigating based on the controller's movement. Again, not all games work. So don't be surprised when you plug it in and you can't play one of your favorite games. So you gotta check it out. Right, this is my favorite. This has been able to work remotely at its best. This is the Bayer Dynamics Fox mic and I record podcasts when I'm out on the go. See, it says recording with an external mic. This works brilliantly. It goes into the USB on the one side, micro USB on the other, on the Fox mic itself. This is such a great quality mic, really portable and really, really amazing quality. I definitely need to do an in-depth review of this, but this has saved me so many times. Being able to be mobile and still have studio quality sound is just golden. Right, Galaxy S6 Edge, why have we got that? Well, we're gonna plug in, again, same USB cable on the one side. Now I'm gonna take my Galaxy 6 Edge and I'm gonna plug in the cable. Now, what it's gonna do, it's gonna charge the Galaxy 6 Edge straight from the Galaxy S10. Really handy, in a pinch, you can charge this and other devices. Other cool thing is that when you plug your cable in, 
you have an application called the Smart Switch, and that allows you to take all your information from the first phone and switch it over to your second phone. Your settings, your data, everything just goes through at once. Right, bonus connected time. Because we're talking about connecting cool stuff to your Galaxy S phone, this is a foldable keyboard, which I absolutely love. Connects, makes the best stuff. Now you can see on the right hand side of that, I've got a little mouse pad. I've also got a good tick, tick, tick kind of style of keys. So if I go and I create a new tweet, for example, I can feel a really like typing with a regular keyboard. And what's very cool is being able to create content wherever you happens to be. Use the little screen, like especially useful on plane rides. So as you can see, our phones are not just phones. They're essentially good, expensive sometimes, actual working machines that allow you to be productive wherever you happen to be. And with the little dongle that has made the world of a difference. It's such an underutilized device. Go dig for it back in the box. It's probably still in there and enjoy being mobile. And whilst you're doing that, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. I really do appreciate it. If you are new here, welcome. Hit the head here to subscribe. We do gadget apps, how to's, tips and tricks, tutorials. We do it all here. And also check out some of these other cool videos. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Cheers for now.